In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to do a pelvimetry exam. So you'll want your client to be lying supine with their um, knees and hips flexed. Um, you're going to take gloved fingers and introduce um, two fingers into the vagina. And you're going to palpate the transverse um, perineal muscles to check for density and elasticity. Next, you'll move your fingers posterior, let's see if you can see this, posterior into the pelvis. Um, to the coccyx and you'll check the coccyx both both for its prominence within the uh, pelvic outlet as well as um, if the coccyx moves or not. Next you'll move your fingers up the sacrum. Let's see, I'm trying to show you how this works. So you remove your fingers up the sacrum, um, checking for the shape of the sacrum and then you'll move your fingers up to and with the, I'm sorry, with the shape of the sacrum, you're checking, um, you're checking to see if it's curved or flat. And then you're gonna move your fingers up to the sacral promontory and you're going to check the sacral, um, the sacral promontory to the pu pubic arch and this is called the diagonal conjugate. My reach is about 14 and a half centimeters and so the um, diagonal conjugate for this pelvic model um, is about 13 and a half centimeters or so. Next, you're going to run your fingers along the pelvic brim to check um, the shape of the pelvic brim again to see if it's curved, if it's oval. Um, you're going to flip your fingers and you're going to check the other side. Next, you're going to run your fingers down um, the pelvis wall again to check and see if the walls are um, straight or curved and also to see if they're par parallel with each other on each side. Next, you're going to check um, the ischial spines to see if they're blunt or prominent. The endendal nerve runs kind of near here and so this part of the exam will be a little bit um, uncomfortable for the client. So you'll check the um, ischial spines on each side and then you're going to want to check the, um, the um, ischial, um, the space between the, um, the sacral um, the sacral sciatic notch is what it's called um, and you should be able to fit at least two and a half fingers be into this space maybe this is a better angle let's see you should be able to fit at least um, two fingers two and a half fingers into the space and so this space is is adequate um, next you're going to check the space um, between the ischial spines by spreading your index and middle fingers um, as far apart as they go my spread is about 10 and a half centimeters and um, adequacy is, is like nine and a half centimeters. So this, um, this pelvis here is fine. Um, so next you're gonna remove your hand from the vagina um, and you're going to check the, um, the space of the pubic arch with two fingers. So you'll just put your two fingers here um, and, and check to see that space. And then next you're gonna check the space um, between the ischial tuberosities by making a fist and then fitting the fist between these two points here, just like this. Um, and that is a basic walkthrough of how to do a pelvimetry exam. Thank you.